Hello everyone, good day. I am Maybelline and this is Wise Geek. I'm talking about my topic that I'm going to tell you. Let me give you first this short video clip that has the connection to my topic. You now see your lungs well breathing, the lungs which is very important. My topic is all about respiratory system. Every tissue within the body requires oxygen to function. The respiratory system provides oxygen to the body cells for removing carbon dioxide, which is a waste product that can be lethal if allowed to accumulate. The respiratory system also helps the body maintain homeostasis or balance among the many elements of the body's internal environment. So there are three major parts of the respiratory system. The airway, which includes the nose, form the main external opening for the respiratory system and are the first section of the body airway. The next one is the mouth, known as the oral cavity, secondary external opening for the respiratory tract. The pharynx, known as the throat, is a muscular funnel that extends from the posterior end of the nasal cavity to the esophagus and larynx. The larynx is the enlarged upper section of the trachea, also called the voice box. The trachea, or windpipe, is a 5-inch long tube made of C-shaped hyaline cartilage ring line. The main function of the trachea is to provide clear airway for air to enter and exit the lungs. The bronchi and bronchioles, the main function is to carry air from the trachea into the lungs. The second major part of the respiratory system is the lungs. It acts as a functional unit of the respiratory system by passing oxygen to the body and carbon dioxide of the body. The third part is the muscle of, muscle of respiration, including the diaphragm and intercostal muscles work together to act as a pump, pushing air into and out of the lungs during breathing. The respiratory system is very much prone to ailments since it is open to airborne microorganisms and outside pollution. One ailment is the common cold. It is an infection of the respiratory system. If a cold lingers beyond this period, the cause may be an inflammation of the sinuses. This condition is called sinusitis. Mucus secreted yellowish due to sinusitis is often thick and yellowish green in color. Asthma is another disease of the respiratory system. It is caused by an abnormal immune reaction to any substance and the attack of asthma come and go in regular patterns and vary in degree of severity. Another disease is bronchitis, which is often caused by virus. It is an inflammation of the mucous membrane of the lower passages, especially the trachea and bronchi. Another infection is pneumonia, may be caused by virus or bacteria. Pneumonia is an infection of the lung tissue. It develops when the immune substance in the respiratory tract are weakened and cannot fight invading organism. Another infection is the emphysema which is a respiratory disease marked by breathlessness that is brought on by enlarged of alveoli in the lungs. Heavy cigarette smoking is the primary cause of emphysema. Let me give you first video clip in comparing healthy lung and damaged lung. And push down real hard, really bad. Oh. Yeah, you see how like, they are Funny. It's pretty right. awesome. So then, <laughs> all right. Now try these ones. See how you're only getting part of the lungs are inflating. They're not inflating as much. They're kind of just shitty. Pretty much. All right. Now try these ones. See how you're only getting part of the lungs are inflating. They're not inflating as much. They're kind of just shitty. <laughs> Pretty much. See, now you know how important lung is. Always take care of your lungs. Disease and ailments can be treated and avoided. Always have proper nutrition, proper amount of quality drinking water, adequate rest and regular exercise, and stress reduction to keep the body healthy. Tobacco smoking is very dangerous to health. Cigarettes containing harmful chemicals such as nicotine and carbon monoxide, which we call it nicotine affects 
the heart and blood vessels, and carbon monoxide reduces the ability of hemoglobin in the red blood cells to carry oxygen to all parts of the body. So that's it, the respiratory system. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.